Good to and welcome around to my very first Team Fortress 2 gameplay video commentary. I'm just to be Gotman Enough, and we are playing as a scout on CP Gullywash RC10. You may see that I have the Force of Nature equipped. I'm currently trying out that new nifty Force Jump, which was brought upon us by the new classes update, and yeah, I might as well try out the new weapon. I haven't. I usually play with the normal scatter gun, but since the classes update, I start picking up that weapon again and yeah I'm doing that a lot at weapon swapping and I don't know I picked that up once and now I can't leave it be the main thing with the force nature is that every shot counts of course since you only have two and it's important that you aim your shots carefully exactly that you use the first shot to like align your um, shot to just like stun your enemy and the second shot that you can really execute a point blank shot like I'm going to do right here. Yeah. Stop. First one to pick him up, the second one to kill him. And yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. I'm not used to that map also. I don't know it that good yet, so I'm currently <laughs> looking everywhere for med kits. And maybe we also disturb the med again. Get killed horribly. Yeah, one important thing as a scout, if you're really going to ask, call for medic, <laughs> just hold still, because I play medic a lot and I have the issue that all the scouts just run around you, like when they're burning to death, medic, medic, run around you and just don't hold still. If you if you do that, be so kind and hold still for him. That was lucky. Anyway, he's moving on. All that guy's out, so I might as well shoot him. There's... Yeah, with the force and edge you have to be a little bit more, tr well, a scout in general, you can't just run in blast everyone since you only have two shots. And it's always good if you like going from behind, if you keep, if you, if someone doesn't die from, from both shots you might as well finish them off with pistol or try something awkward like I just did there with the bat. Ah, wow. Yeah, I need to work on my aim. There we have it. I have no idea what that medic is doing with the scout, but I don't care. The problem is that, yeah, the scout, the force of nature is really bad against other scouts and trying to flee here, which I somehow made. Luckily there was also another scout run, a blue scout running out and actually accidentally, accidentally, co accidentally covers me. Well, I appreciate that. Okay, getting some mech kids and um, back into the action, I guess. See, there is a I have no idea. <laughs> I first thought I didn't kill him because he just dropped dead instead of like flying upwards. But here we have a wonderful prey to medics. I have no idea why I didn't run after the second one because he would have been so easy prey. Instead I go for a soldier here which <laughs> I get covered by the spy luckily so I can yeah call for a medic. Won't help you. We can easily finish him off. Uh, moving on. Let's see where we go. Up to point four, I guess. Yeah, that's a bad idea. And yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm not used to that force jump yet. I was able to pull it off every time in the swarm, but as soon as I won't, oh, I am trying to do so, I fail. There we go. Isn't that hard, isn't it? Okay, there's an enemy scout, which. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, just got finished off by uh, my teammate here. Fine. There's a mecha for me to move on. Oh, hi, Sentry! Yeah, I <laughs> should have heard that coming. Okay, if we can't go that road, then we go the other way. I have... I was actually surprised that I got that I got all my health back because I actually picked up the sandwich. Okay. Battling a heavy with the force of nature is awkward. And yeah, I got brutally mauled there. The problem is that just two shots are not enough to kill a heavy. Scattering would have been so much easier. Since you can easily finish a heavy with three or maybe four shots. That's a big not a big deal since if you shoot him the first time from behind, he won't notice you. The second time, he will finally be able to turn around, and with the third shot, he, he can sh 
we can finish him off before he can start shoot shooting with the minigun. Anyways, I have to say this map has very interesting capping points. The first one of this is really odd, like pillar in the middle, then the other one with uh, the how should I say that with uh, with the upper floor where you can also cap. And yeah, there's a big advantage of the force in nature. It's ba it's just battling pyros because you can push them away every time, so there's double the M1. Yeah, that's also beautiful of me. Annoy the medic. <laughs> Annoy the fuck out of the medic. Thanks, Pally. Okay, let's see where to go here. Let's sneak into the base and see if we can get an easy kill like that guy who's busy watching the wall. I have no idea. Maybe up here. Yeah, bad idea, sentry. Time to get time to get some mech kits. This map is also is really gen luckily very generous with mech kits. Sadly, it won't help me here. That was bad. Uh, what can I say? What can I say? Let's see how he. Yeah, he's carrying the bomb. I like, honestly, I never seen the sense in this in this unlockable. It's just plain useless. Yeah, fine, you can bypass sentries, but you just might as well just walk around them. If you can't walk around them, why, why bother being a scout? And ch ch might as well just change class. And it was useful in CT map, CTF maps up to the point where you could uh, pick up the intel, but since you drop it now when uh, you are in the it's pointless again. Also here, that's a wonderful case of being too greedy. And picking up the mech kit, of course. And getting shot by someone who has a hat. I'm so jealous of people who have a hat because I played since the since the spy sniper is a spy update such a long time and I haven't even gotten one single hat. Oh well, what can we do? And oh hey heavy, how are you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a bad way to battle with them. I think I just went up and ignored them. Especially since the medic shouted I'm charged. It is cowardly, but fuck you. The point is more important, like that soldier here, and where's the medic? That's also a good case of me with, be with being panicked and not being able to hit the medic. Because if... If, our crit if crits are enabled, I'm paranoid be because of melee weapons. First off, the range is sometimes ridiculous due to, like, due to the lack compensation. Plus, there is also, uh, of course, the fear of random crits. Medic Medics round. seem to have a lot of them. Probably because of the healing they always do, that the uh, that hires the melee bomb. Also, swimming heavy. Oh well, moving on. Oh, I still helped a little bit, at least. See, I wasn't sure if that was really a spy or not, but then I, but then I realized when he didn't stab the soldier that he wa he couldn't he couldn't be one of our spies. Sadly, I missed that that scout of force in nature behind me, and our our guy with the bomb thing. Oh, get rid of that thing, boy! Especially with the force in nature, because the thing with it, the pistol is just wild. If you use the force in nature, it's just a perfect finisher. I mean, you. If you get if you get some of the force nature, it might be that he like has a, a little bit of health left, so you can just easily pick them off with the, with the pistol. Even though I, I barely used the pistol in this video, I always had the luck to either kill them or get or the, or or a tough luck to get killed by them. Yeah, like I said, get killed by them. 